<laughs> hey everybody, what's going on? This is Barbara from barbarajournals.com. And today I wanna to show you how to create um, these pages for your next journal that you can that you can upload to Amazon KDP. And today, instead of using Canva, which everyone know if you've been following me that Canva is like my business bestie, I am gonna show you how to do it on Google Slides, which is completely free as long as you have a Gmail account. So you go to your Google Drive, you click New, and then you select Google Slides. And once that loads up, you are going to format this page so that it's ready for Amazon KDP. So we are going to go to File and then Page Setup. So File, Page Setup. And we're going to change it to custom. And we're going to make this, I'm going to do six by nine because that's typically the most popular journal size, but you can always do eight and a half by 11. Now that I have that, I'm going to go ahead and delete the boxes. So I'm just clicking on them and deleting. Next, I'm going to go ahead and insert a table. So I'm going to do insert table and I'm gonna make it one column and 18 rows because I found that works best for me for um, the six by nine size. Okay, so I have that. So then next, I'm going to go ahead and um, format the size of the table. So we're gonna highlight this. Now I'm going to do right click on it and gonna do format options. And I'm going to make sure I'm gonna change this to five by eight, again, because I found that this is what works best for six by nine for Amazon KDP. Then I'm going to click on it and drag it over so that it's in the center and Google presentation will help me with that. As you can see, the lines are showing me that it's right dead in the center. So now that we have that, the first thing I'm going to do to the table is I'm going to make the lines black. So I'm going to highlight the lines. I'm going to click on this border color and I'm going to make it black. So now you can see it a little bit better. And then I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all of these border lines surrounding the table. So I'm going to highlight. Click on this arrow right here. Highlight the right side and then I'm going to click on border color and make it transparent. And I'm just going to do that for all of them arrow, top, border color transparent. Same thing, arrow, left, border line, transparent. And then I'm gonna do it one more time for the bottom. Arrow, bottom, transparent. All right, so then as you can see, oh, wait a minute, that didn't go away. Hold on, let me try it again. Highlight the table. Uh -oh, let me do it one more time. My brain is going faster than my hand. So we're gonna click on the left. Transparent, there you go. So now the page is set, it's perfect. So then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add like a little cover page that just says this journal belongs to. So I'm gonna go over here, new slide with layout. And I'm gonna do section header. And then I'm just gonna click inside. And as you can see, you can change, you know, make it change the color, underline, font. Well, you know what, let's change the font style. So let's make it, let me see. I'm just gonna pick one just to show you that you have some options. I saw kind of a, let's do caveat. So I'm gonna say this journal belongs to, then I'm gonna hit space bar twice or hit return twice. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the underscore, so I'm gonna do, oops. Whoa. You know what it is? I'm sorry, because I changed the font, that's gonna affect the line. So that's why the line is dash, shows as dashes. So if I just, so be mindful of that if you decide to do a different font. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just go back to um, Open Sans. 
and I'm going to make this font a little bit smaller so that it fits. There we go. And then all I'm going to do is highlight this box and drag it up. Or you could put it right smack in the middle of the page. And there you have it. And then you can drag this one up here so that it's at the top. <clears throat> click on the page and just do right click and duplicate. And you can duplicate the slide. And then if you right hold it and shift and click on the second one, then when you hit duplicate slides, it'll make um, more copies. So that's a faster way to get more pages so you're not inserting a new page each time. Then once you're all done, you want to make sure you save it. So you can save it as um, my, I'm going to just save it as my first journal. Once you add as many pages as you want, um, you can usually most journal have maybe between 100 and 120 blank line pages, but you can do as many as you want. You want to do file, download, PDF, and save it as a PDF file. Once you do that, it'll be ready to go, and you can actually go right to Amazon and upload it directly on the Amazon. And that part of the interior will be done, but you still, of course, need to do the cover and things like that. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop me a comment below or feel free to reach out to me. I'm going to list all my contact information below. If there's a video or a trainer that you would like to see, definitely feel free to reach out to me and I'll see what I can do to make that happen. All right, guys, have a fantastic day.